So have you ever wondered why when you bought a new piece of memory kit like this with rated speed of maybe 3600 megahertz like the one we have here, plug it into your system, boot it up, but didn't actually get the expected speed as what has been stated on the box itself. So in today's video, we're going to show you what exactly the problem is and how do you deal with this issue. To demonstrate this, we'll be using what we have here today, the Clef Bolt XR with a rated speed of DDR4 3600 for our system right here. Now we have the kit plugged into the motherboard and without any adjustment, we just go straight into the OS itself and as you can see, the system will pose but if we take a closer look at what the speed of the memory is running, you found out that it's not actually running at the rated speed which is 3600 megahertz and if we look at the rated settings here you can see that the kit actually comes with an XMP profile with a rated speed of 3600 megahertz with timings of CL18, 22, 22, 42 so we can see here that it's not really running at what it's supposed to be running and what it's capable of. And to solve this, it's actually very easy and I'll show you how it can be done. To get it to run at the rated speed, first you have to get access into the BIOS itself. So to do that, of course you have to restart the computer, which is what we are doing here now. As it restart, most of the time you'll be pressing the delete button on your keyboard so it'll get you into the BIOS. Okay. And if it's done correctly, you'll find yourself in the BIOS interface in no time. Do keep in mind that this is the interface for the Ashrock motherboard we're having here. And different brands of motherboard will have different kind of naming for all the parameters inside here as well as the interface itself. So the thing you have to take note is the keyword of either XMP or DOCP. So this is the settings that will get you to access to the XMP profile of the memory itself which allows it to run at a rate of speed as stated on the box and it will show you the XMP profile that's available on the memory kit itself and here you can see that we have the DDR4-3600 which is as rated on the box of the memory kit itself so you just select that and you will get DRAM frequency running at DDR4-3600 but before we restart the system you have to pay attention to the DRAM voltage itself because I did notice that some motherboards they never really give you the rated voltage which allows the memory to run at the rated speed so take note of the DRAM voltage itself here for the Astro motherboard they have here it will adjust accordingly to what the RAM is supposed to run at so once you got this confirmed you can restart the system, save changes and exit. Now that we have already adjusted the speed in the BIOS and successfully posted into the windows, let's see what's the difference. So from task manager, we can see that the memory is finally running at the rated speed of 3600 megahertz. And in CPU Z, timings is correct just as what's stated on the box and your XMP specs. And before we proceed any further, some of you might wonder, now that you mentioned that it's running on 3600, why is it showing only 1800 on the CPU-Z? Well, because it's actually called DDR for a reason, double data rate. So what's being displayed here is by the channel itself. And the effective speed which can be observed is shown here on your task manager. 
which is 3600 megahertz so it's totally fine if you're seeing like 1800 on cpu z because that's how it works so yeah that's how you get your newly bought memory kit to run at the rate of speed but before we move on to the closing thoughts here are a few tips that you should look into before buying a new kit first of all before buying a new kit yes you've seen fancy speeds good timings and all you have to make sure that your motherboard will be able to support the memory kit which you'll be buying and the qvl list can be obtained from the product page of the motherboard itself so you have to search for the product name of your motherboard and go to the website look for the qvl list and see whether the kit you are going to buy is in the qvl list because if it's not in the qvl list I mean, lucky enough, you might be able to get your system to post with the kit, but you'll definitely not be able to, you know, run the kit at a rate of speed without some tweakings. Even after you buy the kit that's in the matching QVL list, you might not be able to post a system with XMP profile because you might miss out something such as BIOS updates because maybe, just maybe, when you purchase the motherboard, the manufacturer loaded the motherboard with an older version of the BIOS which has lesser compatibility with the memory kit that you buy so that's one thing to take note of and of course if you want to go a little bit more deeper in the memory you know all the memory configuration that's a whole different topic to talk about because it involves quite a lot of tweaking on your settings voltages that's related to your DRAM so we'll leave that out for now but let's say if you're having some problem even after updating the BIOS you might want to consider you know adjusting DRAM voltage by a little bit because it will help you know to improve your system stability who knows you'll have to run stability tests for hours to make sure that there's no errors before you run your system for 24 7 so that concludes our video for today if you have any other topics you want to talk about do let us know in the comment below and we'll try to think up something interesting for you guys to know and i think that's pretty much it if you like this video do subscribe to our channel give a thumbs up to this video and i'll see you guys in the next video